Eubank was jumping in all night long, coming in with his elbows and, and, and you know, physically the two of them were you know, tying each other up, it was quite clumsy on the inside. Um, but he, he, there was no issues with his shoulder throughout camp, so um, yeah. So I mean, you can see Shane, obviously he's got this shoulder injury that he's going to be ready in time for the fight. It's a massive concern, but um, it's a massive concern for the tournament and George Groves' his health is paramount. So is there any scope for moving the dates if possible if, if it comes to it? Because George has got this yeah. injury, he might not be fit. We have a scope within the way the tournament has been completed. Uh, I won't go into details on that now, but, uh, but um, we'll, we'll wait till March. You know, we're hopeful that for those sort of injuries, it can be that he can train very, very quickly again. If, if it's just a case of it popping out, um, but we don't know. We no one knows if there's any damage until the scans have, have been analysed by experts. And I've mean, had a lot of a lot of experience with shoulder injuries with athletes of mine. And, and even the first uh, diagnosis, I just don't want to see a second or third one as well on the shoulder. You know, it's it's a uh, it's a big it's a big muscle when it comes to boxing. Um, it's a complicated one. But uh, I've seen those sorts of injuries and in boxes fight very quickly again. It really depends on, uh, on whether he's had luck or bad luck in that element. But I would say, to it, I mean, the, the way he boxed and tied him up just with the right hand and stole time was for me uh, um, heroic. You know, it was, it was a, certainly a heroic ending to the fight from George. And, um, yeah, it was a grandstand finish. Okay, so we made all sweeter after everything was said in the build that they made a lot of personal attacks on you and George. Um, yeah, but you know, we're not out here to prove Eubank Senior or Eubank Junior or anybody else right and wrong. You know, George has always been the underdog, he's always been the piece up. Um, I'm just proud and privileged to be beside him as a friend, you know, obviously as a, as a, as a coach to see him when he was cobrad to where he is now. We, we don't know. Well, I think when your adrenaline's going all the time, I think you know, he knew something was wrong. Uh, he wasn't he wasn't able to throw with it. So as, as no, Cal said, nothing. just the fact that he was able to slip, slide, tie him up, let him lunge in, and as soon as he lunged in, rather than step back again and let him come in with his next attack, he was to step back and nullify him, shut him down, and I thought like he couldn't adjust the whole way through that, that fight. It was simple, basic tactics that George was able to execute from the first round to the last round, and as George said, his levels, you know, George, George really was on, you know, he, he wasn't showing everything he's got in that fight tonight, and I thought like you, mate, just come unstuck in every department. Did anything about you being impressive tonight? Um, I mean, yeah, he's, he's, he took some good shots um, and he was able to keep coming back. I mean, uh, the character of the man was, was able to come back, but you know, I feel like he was he looked lost in there tonight. I feel like he needs to he needs to go and reassess his career. Um, but I believe he's a middleweight. Go back down to middleweight, get a good team around him, uh, not cowboys, and. Uh, you know, rebuild. Was George, the George box sort of exactly the pressure of the George? He If they fought ten times, I believe he beat ten times out of ten, and I believe it five times out of ten was soccer. That's as simple as I can put it. Kevin Ford was the club change. Did that change the tempo of the fight at all? I mean, I think it was more the power that, 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 that stunned him, nullified him, and slowed him down, made him apprehensive. I could hear the other corner screaming, come on, put the pressure on him, put the pressure on him. And he did, but he only felt like he was able to do it when he was in close, when he was physically pushing and punching off it. He never felt comfortable to set anything up with a long jab, never felt comfortable to trade right hands with George. You know, like, he was, he was the invincible man going in there apparently tonight and, and he came on, he come on stop in many departments, I thought. Um, 
come into boxing, we'd just like to congratulate you on an absolute master plan, so well done. Thank you mate, appreciate it, but as 